Hi, I'm Sean, and I'm going to talk to you real quick about the theory of multiple intelligences. Multiple intelligences. What does this mean? Well, obviously, you have the, this intelligence, this, the central intelligence, the uh, FBI intelligence, and, you know, Starfleet intelligence. Uh, okay, kidding aside. Uh, multiple intelligences is a theory of human intelligence proposed by Gardner in 1983, and it consists of eight main intelligences, including bodily kinesthetic, which is people who are in tune with their, their body and their biorhythms, interpersonal intelligence, people who are good at communicating with other people, relating to each other, expressing and um, receiving emotion. Verbal linguistic intelligence. These are people who are focused on, on words, word meanings, uh, books. This does not necessarily mean that these people are better language learners. It just means that these people approach learning generally in a verbal or a linguistic way. We have logical and mathematical intelligence. These people might be more analytical uh, in their approach to learning things. Um, perhaps in the language classroom, these students might be quite receptive to um, computationally influenced descriptions of grammar. Naturalistic intelligence. This is actually the eighth intelligence that Gardner proposed um, in addition to the original seven intelligences. And these people are in tune with nature, the natural world. We also have intrapersonal intelligence. These are learners who are in tune with their own um, rhythms, their own knowledge, and they have a, uh, an understanding of their own self that, that other learners may not. Visual spatial intelligence. This one I think is very important. Um, I personally am a visual learner. Um, I like to express things in uh, spatial relationships and in visual space. Uh, these people would be very uh, uh, would benefit from uh, pictures in the classroom, videos, diagrams, um, looking at language from a, you know perhaps in comic books, approaching language in those ways. Finally, we have musical intelligence. Uh, these are people who uh, approach things lyrically, rhythmically, uh, in, a, in a, a way that is in tune with the um, special sounds and rhythms of um, what they're learning. Uh, this is especially relevant to language learning um, because uh, so much culture is encoded in music and through that language. Uh, it's very important to point out that these eight intelligences are not specifically explaining language learning or language acquisition. Uh, these intelligences are general intelligences, um, and the initial seven that Gardner proposed are intended to describe learning of all types. And, in fact, Gardner has accepted the possible inclusion of a ninth intelligence, which is existential or moral intelligence, although uh, based on my reading, he is uh, unwilling to allow intelligences into his model, which he does not feel are neurologically based, um, which do not have some basis in, in evidence in the research on how people learn. So these are the main eight intelligences that are currently part of Gardner's model. 